I had told you I have a lot of, pretty much everybody on my team is extremely well versed in the Bible. Yeah. And, uh, and they bring me up to speed in a hurry. And, but I mean, even just those are the wisest people I've discovered. Yeah. I didn't know that. But everywhere, there's nowhere you can look and go, that makes sense anymore. It, nothing makes any sense at all. The, the, the confusion of genders, it's everywhere. I mean, I, I, I was in DC, what was it last June when we had, when we had the big pride party on the White House lawn and men yeah. were flashing their titties. I look at that as symbolism now. That's, that is some type of evil force of that's in there. The, this Easter, this Easter, was you mean Trans Visibility Day? Exactly. On mm -hmm. Easter. With with Easter bunnies and Easter eggs and the White House letterhead declaring that day Trans Visibility Day. That's a symbol. The Pope. Well, that's a pretty clear symbol. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not it does. not a theologian or anything. But I, when I you replace Easter with any day, I think maybe you're making a statement about transcendent matters. It's not just about politics. Mm -hmm. But the shit's everywhere. It's everywhere you look. Yeah. And and only the Bible readers are prepared to understand it. That's what I've... Because everything is the opposite of what you were told. So you were told that all the, the Bible readers were the most superstitious and inflexible and stupid and lacking wisdom and common sense and they couldn't see reality and like... That's what I grew up. I mean, even though we like went to church occasionally or whatever, of course we hated religious people because all affluent Americans hate religious people in the world that I grew up in because they're like superstitious and dumb and they're embarrassing and they're like kind of middle class or poor whites and you're like, ugh. I, I mean, I'm so ashamed to say that, but I, and I, I was never against them really, but I just didn't, I don't know. You just don't question what you were taught really kind of, you know? Mm -hmm. And then it turns out that like, those are the only people who know what's going on. They're the best people. I, I've known that for a while. They are the best, religious people are the best people. Like there's no, it's not even close. Who else, who else hopes other people just for, who else prays for their enemies? <laughs> anyone, anyone? No, just Christians, that's it. So anyway, I've known that for a while that they were the best people. And of course I'm married to one. So I knew that, but what I didn't know was that they're the only, they're the only wise people. They're the only ones who know what's up and that they're just like way smarter than everybody. I didn't know that. I had no idea. And the last couple of years I've been like, holy shit, they're the only people who know what's going on. And you had the greatest line this morning, I won't reveal personal stuff we talked about, but you were talking about something like super crazy that happened to you. And you went to a Christian who works for you, who was just like, well, yeah, of course, like that, that happens all the time. And you said to them, to people who really understand this stuff, it's like not a shocking event. It's, I think you said it's like Tuesday. Because they know that this is real. Yeah. And yep. that, what a mind f that has been. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so great yeah. though. Well, you know, it, with everything that's going on and, and, and as disgusted as I am in, in the country and, and the citizens yeah. and the government, and I'm, I'm starting to get an eye into that as the as the show grows, and I, <laughs> yeah. I see I see how I see how disgusting yeah. it actually is in there, and um, and and they are it's just fucking horrible. And this show is definitely I mean this show kind of radicalized me a little bit, which is not easy. <laughs> radicalizing me. <laughs> But um, uh, so yeah, no, you are definitely doing your part to tell the truth, which I thank you. I love that. It gives me hope, though, in a weird, weird way. Now that I can kind of see through this shit and realize, okay, none of this makes sense, and it actually makes sense that none of this makes sense because it's all been written. It's in that death. It's in the book. I know. It's in the book, and it's playing out right now. And anyways, it. it but the fact that honestly, it's the only thing that brings me any hope because I don't think we're getting out of this. Shit. No, of course not. But right. But that's. I mean, that shouldn't be surprising either. I mean, again, I just can't believe that in the end, when it really gets intense, as it is now, that it's Christians, it's people who actually believe the Bible, are the only ones with wisdom, 
who understand what's really going on. They're not shocked at all. And they're not panicked either. Like they get it. It's so interesting. Who have, and it, that, that itself is a biblical principle. The last shall be first. The most, you know, the, the humble among you will be exalted. It's like, it's, everything's the opposite of what you thought it was. You know, victory is defeat. Defeat, I mean, Christianity is defeat. Being tortured to death is actually victory. It's like, it's, inc it's just, but once you start, even if you're not a Christian, which I think you should be, because it's true, but even if you're not, you can acknowledge just having lived here for a while that that is absolutely the way things work.